Wavefront is a very powerful scalable metrics platform. Now we're adding distributed tracing to that platform to help you understand what's going on with your applications, troubleshoot faster, and get better results. We're starting here from the applications page. Basically, after you instrument your application, we can detect and figure out what applications you're running, what services belong to each application, and for each service, what technologies is running. As an example, looking at the Beechers application, uh, we're looking at a Java application that has some, some of the services is running Jersey, some of the services are running gRPC, and some of the services are running both Jersey and gRPC. We can detect that since you instrumented your SDK and we intimately know all of these frameworks. As an example below, you can see um, Python applications, uh, the Python application and a .NET application. We will not focus on them today. So the story starts from a phone call or an alert that says, beat shirts is slow. So where do I start from? Well, I know uh, enough about my application to know that the main flow starts with a shopping service. So I click on the shopping service and I see a lot of metrics. I see request rate, error rate, and duration, P95. Well, we all know that a median or an average duration is pretty much meaningless. And that's why we save the duration as a histogram so you can actually pick the percentile that is of interest to you. Now, how do we get all of these metrics? When you instrument your application using the SDK, in addition to the traces, we collect those metrics. So basically, we go into the frameworks, we figure out what we need to trap to get all of this information. So without installing any agent, without doing anything beyond adding a few lines of code, you get all of these metrics and the traces that I will sh shortly show. Now, this screen is something that you get out of the box. It has filtering for clusters, for your shards, for your sources. But since I came from the first screen, I selected a service. As a default, it doesn't have any filtering. But let's look at what I can see. I can see that, um, well, the request rate is fluctuating a bit once in a while, but it's, well, nothing significant here. The error rate, while you can see it's going up and down, nothing much there. And the duration, basically, is where I see the biggest spike. So first of all, I will actually focus on the spike. And I will click sync time so all the charts will show the same time frame. So I will hover up on the spike and I will look at what's happening. I can actually see that all the order shirts calls are 1.7 seconds while the next API call is way way lower. I can also see that it's not for a the spike is not for a specific host or for a, um, a specific shard or location, so it sounds like an application problem. I can actually scroll down before I drill down. I can scroll down and I can look at the JVM metrics, and it looks like you know the heap size is growing, kind of cyclic. You know, heap size will grow until garbage collection um, basically cleans it up. Garbage collection. It doesn't look like I have too many events of garbage collection, and the threads are pretty stable. So it looks like my best bet is to actually click and drill down and see what's going on for order shirts. So here I'm, I, I'm at the browse traces page. I have I searched for beach shirts, shopping order shirts, which is where I was, and I could have searched according to cluster, shard, or maybe even tags, but since I didn't feel a need and I wasn't I, I didn't see the problem as a specific shard or cluster or source there was no need so I don't have those filters either 
I also remember that my long order, my long requests were about 1.7 seconds. So let's actually limit the searches to be over 1500 milliseconds. Now I can see multiple requests and well, it looks like the information or kind of the requests are pretty consistent. So let me click through one of them. I can see the trace. I can see that it's going through multiple services. So actually shopping and styling and you can see the color coding shows you the services. So shopping, styling, printing, and then again, it goes back to styling and packaging. And I can look at the critical path here and it shows me that this is the biggest span in my trace. Clicking on it, I can see that it is from my packaging service. And I can actually see tags um, and basically metadata about this request. If you had some custom tags, you would see them here. But right now, I don't see much here. But instead of kind of drilling down and trying to figure out, I actually have a link back to packaging dashboard. So I click on it and I moved from looking at the shopping service to looking at the packaging service, which looks like my problem. And I can see again, I can see that I have a duration that is, um, that is spiking. I can see that I arrived here with all the filters according to the span I was on. And since this, G, since this is gRPC, I can actually see payload information as well. So I can see that gift wrap indeed is spiking and not just in that trace, but it's consistently spiking and it's a lot longer than the others. And I can actually see that there is a correlation between the payload size and gift wrapping. If I look at kind of the size here, I can see both for the response and for the request that gift wrap is much, much larger than anything else. So I see a correlation here. I understand that uh, my problem is not in the call to shopping. It's actually at the end, at the tail end, which is on packaging. And it looks like the issue is that I have larger payloads than I was expecting because there are m many more pack gift wrap requests. Now the question is, how do I fix it? I can do multiple things, but what we show here is how you get to a conclusion quickly without needing to go through multiple tools, multiple screens.